Welcome back to Hardworking Man. So this video is going to showcase this event that we just went to in Indiana. Mike from KNL Firewood organized it, coordinated it, put it on called the Hoosier Firewood Hysteria. It was at the Howard County Vietnam Veterans Memorial Campground and it was a great time. <laughs> a lot of work. A lot of work. And Everyone came together to make an absolute ton of firewood for the veterans. Yeah, so we didn't know what to expect. We didn't know what it was going to be like if it was, you know, like our kids asked us, is this going to be a meet and greet? And we're like, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure we're just going there to work. But it was, it was a long day and everybody like worked so hard. It was a lot of fun, but it was pretty much work all day long. Like you got to meet people and meet other channels, which you, you get to know people through the channels like a lot of you know, but when you meet them in person, even though it's like you sort of know each other, it's great to meet people and get to talk to people and learn about people. And we met all kinds of great people, but it wasn't just a hangout. Like you go to a show, like we went to the Paul Bunyan show and a lot of that is hanging out, you know, having fun, relaxing, checking out all the stuff. This was, we were there to work. Everyone was there to work. I yeah. think Rachel put it best at the end of the day. She says, I feel like I just did splitter wars for 12 hours. Yes. You'll see in the video how it is like an organized chaos. There's yes. tractors going in and out of the bay with people and saws and everybody, It I nobody got hurt, thank God. I took a, I took a little, oh. little shot. <laughs> Take a little shot of piece well, wood fly off the splitter and hit me in the head. That was probably the only injury. But uh, yeah, it was put on by Mike from KNL, and he just reached out to a different people, said he was going to do this event. If you could come, he'd appreciate it. And a lot of people showed up to help the veterans. Mm -hmm. His plan, I believe, was to help the veterans and to get people together, and also to let people come and try out different equipment. So. Mm -hmm. We knew there was going to be an Easton made 1222 there that was brought by 765 guys. Mike from KNL had his access, which I finally got to run, so you'll see that later in the video. We brought our all wood with our log table because not many people have seen an all wood in person, so we brought that and some people got to run it. All kinds of different saws. I was looking forward to running a 400C, a 500I, some husk varnas. Chris from In the Woodyard was there. Tony, Tony's Cool Tools, which he touches on the table that we brought and gives you his thoughts on that later in the video. So if you want to see what the tool review guy thinks of it, you're going to have to watch this video. But uh, I didn't run a saw all day long yeah. because once the all wood started running, I was either running it, loading the table, throwing splits away from it, or going and getting gas or fuel or drinks or something almost the entire day or going around quickly with the camera. So I didn't run a saw. I wore myself out on the splitter, helping people run the splitter. <laughs> Rachel and Amanda from Outdoors in the 608 rocked that all wood all day long. These two were workhorses. Jay from Iowa Premier Tree Surgeon, he was there. He started yeah. cramping up at the end of the day because <laughs> we were just grinding all day long. I can't long. even describe to you the amount of hard physical labor that everybody put in for this event. It was intense. So hopefully you enjoy watching. It's a longer video, but it should showcase everything that went on and all of the amazing people we met. It was a great time had by all. And I think they might do it again next year. So. And yeah. hopefully this video does justice for how much firewood was made <laughs> because the pictures that I've had on my phone don't even come close to showing how much wood we actually okay. made that day. Chris from In the Woodyard, which if you know, firewood you know he makes a lot of it i believe someone said he estimated 25 to 30 full cords and that was done in one day from logs to split firewood ready mm -hmm. to sell for the veterans so yeah. hope you guys enjoy this video it's a longer one it's a little bit of everything i so. literally just said all of that did you hear me hope you enjoy this video it's a longer one it okay. showcased everything we did what she said and here it is <laughs> Is that it then? Genuinely, I just said all of that and you got stuff in your teeth. For that whole thing? Uh-huh. Hey everybody, welcome back to Hard Working Man. Today, we're at the Hoosier Firewood Hysteria, put on by Mike from KNL. You can hear a bunch of equipment running in the background. We've got log splitters, chainsaws, some tractors, a little bit of everything. So let's go see what we have. Here's Mike's Easton Made Access from KNL Firewood. We're gonna have to add a Hard Working Man sticker to it today. We finally got our stickers made. 
He's got stickers all over this thing. A lot of these channels are here today helping out splitting firewood for veterans. All right, here we are with Jeremiah and his wife Amanda outdoors in the 608. One of the neatest wood yards you'll see, the opposite of what I run. So you guys came down from Wisconsin? Yep. Yes. Five and a half hours to get here. And he brought his steel 400C. I want to run that today. I've never run any of the newer steel chainsaws, so we'll see how it stacks up against Chris from in the wood yard Tuscarawas. I really want to get on that all wood. Yeah, we'll get that, get some rounds made, and get some splitting on that thing. Yeah. All right, here we got Tony from Tony's Cool Tools. Fueling up his 500i, standing by Chris's inferior husk varnas behind him. <laughs> and Todd, Todd's outside again. Hey everybody. Well, you got a, you got 400c. Another 400c. We'll see how those stack up against the 500i's. Look at that, he starts at OSHA approved. No drop start. All right, we got Denon, 765 guys, filling up the table, and we're gonna start running it through the all wood. And he's gonna just start bringing the tractor in here. We're gonna dump it right off the tractor bucket. Then we can get in here. We're in an enclosed shed here.
runs. It might be better to run the wedge all the way up and <coughs> just try to half them. Jenin 765 guys bringing in another load of wood. All hands on deck getting this wood split up for the veterans. Chris from in the wood yard, Tony, Tony's cool tools. 
the Husqvarna Steel Showdown out here. from KNL Firewood. We're gonna run out of wood. <laughs> That's a good problem though. If you ran those all day, 
today. Got in the backyard with Dell here. Firewood Midwest. Rachel and Amanda still getting it after it on the all wood with the eight way. We're filling this bay up. Nine sixteen, pumping it out on the Wolf Ridge conveyor. We got the human conveyor working on the all wood. We've just been chucking wood all day. It's nice, you can go straight from the tractor bucket to the table. Otherwise, we'd be dumping these rounds on the ground and then putting them on the lift. You're the wood chucker chucking this wood. Yeah. I will say your table works good. I love that thing. If you have enough people like we do right now, you can't beat it. You just stock my well. Yeah. And with just two people, it helps because you can fill the table. And if you don't have an elevator, she'll split and I stack into the tote. Where otherwise, you can see if you walk away for a minute, you lose it and then you're buried again. Yeah. Right now, this is. 
This is by far the most productive machine on the property. As everybody's working with the table, yeah. with the tractor. It's all, I mean, almost as fast as you bring the wood when it's the right size. The bigger ones slow it down a bit, but. Yeah. Well, that's, that's people don't thing. appreciate how well that table works. That's one of the reasons I wanted to bring it, because once you see it, it's yeah. just like, man. Like a boss, you don't care. What you've ever split in a day? We're the fastest wood splitters on your show. Oh, here comes we're another load. We're the fastest load. wood splitters on your show. We're back in business. All right, here's Bill Obermeyer. A lot of you know him as Obi. He just got done running the all wood. Obi, what'd you think of the all wood? Oh, that was a, it was a maniac. That thing was a monster. It was unbelievable. Never handled anything like that before. Crazy. Well, it's a lot of fun and it makes wood fast. Oh, it sure does. Takes a crew and two tractors to keep it fed. Just trying to keep up with Rachel and Amanda.
it, sir. I'll be all right. She says I almost die every day. Huh? Peace flew up and got me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, we're going to finish that table and then pull it out so we can put the elevator in, and then we'll be working probably out here. That's what she was saying, you were going to throw the elevator on it? I'll go look at it. Is it bleeding, dripping? I'll go wipe it off. Yeah, once that's done, we'll pull that table out again and pull the splitter out and then get the elevator in and then get the splitter back in position and the table back in. I'll go wipe my blood off. Hey, what's the uh, liability insurance here? I'll split it with you 50-50, whatever the settlement is. No, thank you. We gotta keep it quiet, though. <laughs> she usually only hits me in private.
guys got going on over here? We got the 1222.
sink of the table. Well, if you have multiple people, it's unbelievable because everyone, we had five people in here working on this, loading the table up. Yes, you can bring your tractor over here with your bucket. However, we could load up a mound on this thing. And then it's as easy as using your hookaroon or pickaroon, pulling it over and splitting it right into the conveyor there. Yeah, I, I mean, I can't conveyor. believe how, <laughs> it took six of us to move this. Yeah, it's I heavy. Mean, it is heavy for sure. Quarter inch plate steel, powder coated. Oh, it's, the it's extremely they impressive. The dirt they dumped on here goes through the holes. That, that's the nice thing. There was so much gravel and rock in here, and we just shifted it all and it's all right down there. But it is it is oh, nice. I love this thing. Yeah. People think it's a waste, but uh, I think it's a good It's not for everyone, however, Absolutely if, you, if you do production work and you have more than one person, this is really nice to have. No doubt about it. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And we're waiting for stickers, so if you got stickers, we got a bunch send them of stickers. to hardworking Heath here. We <laughs> finally Rachel. got our own stickers. I'm not missing oh, Rachel here. Oh, come on, Tony, you left yep. me out. No, no, I caught myself. <laughs> so we need to fill this all up, so send your stickers. That's right. All right, we got some today from everyone that was here that gave us a sticker. Uh, and if you're not here, on. you missed a great event. Yeah, you're better at it. You're Everyone that is here today, we are putting their stickers That's Chris on. trying to duck under the camera. <laughs> Sorry. Because everybody here today worked their tails off and we're going to give you some love. So, out, yours with out, Andy. Yeah, I would say outside. It's not outside, it literally says outdoors. See that? It's always got to try to correct He's right there on the phone. In the backyard with Dell. Dell with his bad knee that he's going to get replaced. His workhorse <laughs> today. I thought Dell got ran over by a tractor. Nope. He just came out. <laughs> Thankfully, he's just safe. Jay, Premier, Iowa. I think he probably tied Amanda for the most hours at the all yeah. today. These guys were machines. Jay worked his tail off at the all today. We got this loud truck messing up our interview. <laughs> We're putting your sticker on our thing and we can't even hear ourselves. <laughs> He's worried the transmission will quit. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally crooked. <laughs> <laughs> it's a confusing sticker, okay, Tony? <laughs> and I feel like this should go like on a special place just for Amanda. <laughs> she was the man to come over here. She's double fisting drinks right now. Amanda was the workhorse <laughs> surprise. Because I didn't know. I didn't know you had it in you. Whoa. Um, not that I've seen you, Jeremiah. You don't put it right enough. <laughs> But literally, he doesn't invite me down in the wood yard yeah. very often. Just for drinks. I see how it is. <laughs> she was awesome. She rocked it. I don't even know. We're impressed. We're impressed, girl. Thank you. Very. This is for Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah refused to stack all this wood. For the record. Yeah. 
here's a bunch of the people that were working on it. And this is how much wood we made. Rachel. He ended up running all afternoon. Hold on, Chris is trying to copy me. He saw me doing this shot. I want to get a perspective. Are you crawling up here? Because I want to have you in the shot. Because you can't really see the scale of it. Like you cannot see the scale of it. This was almost all split today. There was maybe a cord in the corner when we started. We made a bit of wood today. Yeah, there's another room with more wood in it. <laughs>